In this video, I want to show you how you can create a Windows 10 USB installation key the easiest way using Rufus. First, you need to download Rufus, so open your web browser and key in rufus.ie and press enter. Scroll down to almost the middle of the page and click on Rufus, the latest version. Here it is 3.11. When the file downloads, go to the download folder and launch it. You don't need to install it. This is an executable file. If you prompted, click yes. And here you need to insert a USB key that is 8 GB or more. Here I have a 32 GB USB key that I inserted. Make sure you don't need the information on the USB key because everything on it will be wiped. At this stage, if you have an ISO file, you can select it here by clicking on select. But for this video, I'm going to show you how you can download an ISO file from Microsoft. So click on the small arrow next to the select button and choose download. Then click on download. And here Rufus will take you to the Microsoft site. Choose Windows 10 and click continue. It will choose the latest release by itself. So click on continue. Here you can choose the edition. I'm going to keep it on Windows 10 Home Pro. Click continue. You will be asked to choose a language. I'm going to choose English. Of course, choose the language you want. And then click on continue. The next step is to choose your processor architecture. Here I have 64-bit computer, so I left it at 64-bit. And then click on download. And then click on save. So this will download the ISO file in the background. The download is from the original Microsoft site. As you see, if you click on the log, and I will highlight it here for you to see. You see the download is from Microsoft.com. So we are sure that it is legitimate. The download is pretty big. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when the download finishes. When the download finishes, the ISO file will get selected automatically, as you see. Under Image option, you have two options, Standard Windows Installation or Windows to Go. Make sure you select standard Windows installation. Under Partition Scheme, I'm going to select MBR so that the USB key will be compatible with older computers that they don't have UEFI BIOS on them. So MBR will work on both UEFI and non-UEFI. Then click on Start. You'll get prompted to confirm because the USB key will be completely wiped. Click OK. The operation will take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes depending on the speed of the USB key and the USB port on your computer where you plug the USB key. Here I have 3.0 USB key plugged into 3.0 port. So the operation only took 5 minutes. I will be accelerating the video now so that we don't have to wait for it. When the operation finishes, the status changes to ready. So just click on close and let's switch now to an external camera and test the USB key. So I'll be testing the USB key on this laptop. I inserted it into the laptop and I started the laptop and then pressed the hot boot key to boot from the USB key. Selecting the USB key here and as you'll see that the Windows setup will start and I can install Windows on this laptop. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.